Hey everyone, it's Premier Gal here. Today I'm going to be showing you my new Logic skin for my 13 inch MacBook Pro. The Logic skin I have is specifically designed for Premiere Pro and it has all the shortcuts you need to edit faster. So the first thing that you'll notice about the skin is that all of the original key functions are there. So all of the letters, all of the numbers, all of the grammatical um, characters such as you know, colons, quotations are all still there. So that's great. So you don't have to worry about that. And even if you didn't want the skin on, you can take it off to get all the original functions too, which is why the skin is great to have. So the second thing that you'll notice is that there's all these lovely colors there and they all represent different functions. So for example, all of the dark blue at the top between numbers one through nine, they're the camera functions. And there's also a secondary function. So you'll notice that some keys have the line and that means that there's a secondary function to that function when you combine it with the shift, the command, option, or control. That was a lot of information, but let me repeat it again. So if it has a line on it and there's a function underneath, it usually means there's a secondary function to that key that allows you to do something different in Premiere Pro. So for example, if I hit shift, which is the arrow up button, which I didn't know before. I always thought the arrow up was like with the arrow keys, but Logic actually has, actually shows you that the shift is that arrow up button. So I felt kind of dumb for not knowing that, but you know, you learn things as you go along, right? So the shift and you hit one, it shifts you to the project panel. If I hit shift two, it takes you to the source panel. If you hit shift timeline, it takes you to the timeline. That's awesome, and I didn't know that. So thank you, Logic, for that. The next set of colors that I, um, that I like and that I learned something new from is the yellow keys, which are for marking and selecting functions. So I knew that M meant marker, so you can create a new marker by hitting M. And if you hit shift marker, as you see, there's a secondary function on the M key, it takes you to the next marker. How cool is that? I love that. And um, there's a few other ones that I've learned using the Logic Skin. One is one of the purple keys. Um, it's called Zoom to Sequence. I didn't know that the backslash key actually zoomed in on the timeline. So if you just hit that button, it zooms in. And then if you hit it again, it takes you back. Another trick that I discovered having the Logic Skin was the left and right brackets. I didn't know that there was a function for those in Premiere Pro. It turns out that you can control the level of the decibels of your audio track. And if you use it in conjunction with the shift key, you can increase an audio track by um, six decibels. So if I hit, so right now I'm on this audio track, if I hit um, shift left bracket, it'll reduce it by minus six decibels. And if I hit it again, it'll become a negative 12 decibels. And I can bring that back up by hitting shift right bracket and now you can see it's at zero again. So there's heaps that you can learn with the Logic Skin, and I would highly recommend getting it. Um, you can check out other skins or different keyboards that they have available at logickeyboard.com. So let me know if you guys have any questions, and thanks again. Bye.